So you want to try IPv6. How do you transition to it? Some applications still have to use IPv4, like Dropbox, that doesn't work with IPv6. So you have to use dual stack. Dual stack means you run IPv4 and IPv6 next to each other. So you run two IP protocol stacks. This is not a problem. You can implement IPv6 side by side IPv4 without any negative impact. Please only use tunnels when absolutely necessary because tunnels are not nice and you don't want them. Tunnels reduce your MTU size, they limit your communication and tunnels to the IPv6 internet are nice to try but you don't want to use them in production. Dual stack can be used as a transition mechanism until you are able to do IPv6 only. This is for a time when IPv6 is so common that every service on the internet uses IPv6 and only some still have IPv4 additionally. So until then, you can use dual stack, which means you configure IPv4 and IPv6 on your router. If you have dual stack, you have full reachability for both address families. That's a perfect setup. So if you have IPv6 capable hosts, they are configured with IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. And if you have IPv4 only applications, they can still be reachable via IPv4. But if you have new IPv6 only applications, they are still reachable via IPv6. So it's really the perfect setup. Remember, you can have multiple addresses per host and interface. This is common in IPv6. So if you are dual stack, which protocol do you use apart from which source address do you use? Well, first you use native IPv6. This is common among most of the operating systems. So if you have an IPv4 address and a native IPv6 address, then use IPv6. If you don't, use native IPv4. And if you don't have that, you can use tunneled IPv6 using 6 to 4, 6 in for one of the different tunnel types. So you can see from this chart that your operating system only uses tunnels if there is no native connectivity. 